Hi guys! Oh my god, winter is coming. Actually, technically it is already here and it's freezing. So why not share with you guys my top 10 winter must-haves and maybe you can let me know if some of these stuff are some of your stuff. Maybe you can suggest some more winter survival stuff. So let's get straight into it because I'm so excited. Number one, okay, I cannot definitely not live without this lip balm. Uh-huh. Not only is it hydrating, but it also reacts to the natural oils of your lips. So it has this nice sort of pink tinge. On me, it could be a pink tinge. On somebody else, it could be like a red tinge or an orange tinge. I don't know. It reacts differently, so which is really super cool. Number two on the lines of like hydrating is finding a really good hydrating moisturizer or serum. Right now I'm using the Vision Air, which looks like this. It's a serum that's marketed to do a lot of things. It helps with the fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, acne spots, pore, brightening. It just does a bunch of things. I do believe it is very hydrating because once I apply this and just a light moisturizer on top, I'm pretty much okay. So since we are on the, on the line of like hydrating, a very important thing is I find that I always reapply this continuously, which is my hand cream. So I always find a really nice hand cream to use in the winter because as we all know, your like nails like the cuticles around your nails become like stiff and hard and and you don't want any like blood bleeding and whatever it just it's gross okay but try to find a hand cream that is like doesn't leave it oily residue but also very hydrating for the skin so I prefer this one because it smells super nice as you all know fall and winter like the days tend to be a bit more gloomier there's like more rainy days and um, you don't see the sun as often your skin looks more dull even though you have been exfoliating and doing the mask and everything right your skin still doesn't have that glow that you have in summer definitely what is more important is having a highlighter i'm currently using this sunbeam from benefit which is kind of like in a nail polish looking thing so the wand is like a little brush tip and all i do is you just basically dab it onto the skin in the desired area and just blend it out with your fingers clean fingers please okay so you can always mix this into your um, foundation as well so if you want to just add that overall glow then just mix this in with your foundation and apply it all over or just have this underneath your foundation just have it on the high points of your face so i, I like to apply it here um, on my brow bone and also the cupid's bow and the, a little bit on the chin so it kind of makes my face look more like three-dimensional because i know in winter a lot of you guys might experience this where your hair is like like flies off and then you're so staticky you like electrocute people when you touch them well that happens to me and I like to carry it with me this is called the Kodali and it's like the divine oil it's divine Something that you can use on your hair body and face but I don't recommend on your face I it's like a spray bottle like this if it's your hair that's kind of like you know flying away whatever all you do is spray to the ends of your hair never at the roots because then you have like oily scalp and then you have that the whole dirty hair look which is not good so only to the to the ends of your hair like you spray a little bit and then your hair will like settle down and then you won't see the static it's gone it like magically disappears okay now into some apparel definitely i realized in winter you cannot not live without a beanie Cute. This one's actually from Topshop. I found this uh, the other day. I like how it's like it has a little fur ball here. It's so cute. This is really warm, you know, it keeps your head warm and it's also fashionable. I chose this color because it's like really close to my hair color, so it kind of it could go with a lot of things. So even if I'm not wearing a particular color to match this hat, it matches my hair. And the next thing I realized you cannot live without is actually a uh, faux fur. So can't afford real fur, but this is faux fur and you can get this from Uniqlo. It comes in like various colors. This really soft, fluffy thing. And you just put this around your neck and it keeps you so warm. I saw a model did this. I don't think I will pull this off, but you can actually wear it over your head as well. This is cool. You can wear, you can wear it like this if you want. Australia! And these are the Uggs that is made in Australia. I know there are the Uggs that is Australia Ugg, but it's actually made in China. I don't know why, but if you can get your hands on ones made in Australia, they're much better. Why? Because they're more warm. The different type of wool they use inside is so much different. Like this one is so much more dense. So this one helps you helps to protect you from the wind, but also it keeps your feet super warm. We're now moving on to the food part. As we all know that in winter, you're more prone to getting sick, catching cold or flu or whatever. So make sure you up your vitamin C intake. I will always carry my Hulse Defense vitamin C and eat uh, candy because it tastes good and it's good for you. If you're not taking these, then make sure you eat at least eat an apple a day. So make sure you have your vitamin C. And last but not least, I will always have a dirty chai latte in winter because not only does it keep you warm, it also has a dash 
of espresso, which keeps me awake at work. And that is my 10 winter must-haves. Yeah! I hope this was somewhat helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please comment below. Let me know if some of this stuff is your winter must-haves also. But recommend me what is something that you cannot live without in winter. It could be something like I did not think of. I don't know. But I'm curious. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And remember to uh, enter my giveaway if you haven't already because it's very exciting. It's my very first giveaway and I'm really, really happy. And I really want to like, you know, hear all these lovely, you know, beautiful story, inspiring stories from you guys. And um, whether, you know, you have spread some love because this place needs it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.